allow me to make three points which we believe are critical to ensure and strengthen the rule of law in the conduct of international relations. One, peaceful settlement of disputes is a key factor. Rule of law necessitates that countries respect each other's sovereignty and territorial integrity as they would expect their own sovereignty to be respected. Since the Pacta Sunt Servanda is a binding norm of the rule of law, it requires that countries must respect agreements signed with others, bilateral or multilateral, and do not take unilateral measures to undermine or nullify those very arrangements. Two, the application of the rule of law at the international level should protect the sovereignty and territorial integrity of states from aggression, including terrorism and including cross-border terrorism. States that use cross-border terror to serve narrow political purposes must be held accountable. This is only feasible when all countries stand together against common threats such as terrorism and do not engage in double standards for political expediency. Three, strengthening the rule of law would also necessitate reforming international institutions of global governance, including those charged with the responsibility of the maintenance of international peace and security. Debates on strengthening the rule of law while holding on to anachronistic structures that lack representative legitimacy would serve little purpose in our endeavor to strengthen the rule of law. Mr. President, the purpose and relevance of multilateral organizations is increasingly being put to question. We have a collective responsibility and obligation to enhance the credibility and legitimacy of the international order. Let us strive to achieve this before it is too late.